just in Fred Meyers and um, I decided to test the electromagnetic fields while I was in Fred Meyers. I get different types of electromagnetic attacks in Fred Meyers, at least in Fred Meyers, than I do um, in other places. Sometimes it feels like, um, you know, sometimes I get attacked where I get really tired all of a sudden while I'm shopping and stuff. But I didn't feel anything unusual, but I decided to test the electromagnetic fields. And um, this is the second time I've done this and the second time I've noticed something like this. Both times it was consistent the same, which is that the electromagnetic fields around me and my body were elevated to about um, 50, I think microtesla is the unit of measurement that I'm using which is high. It's elevated. It's the way it usually is in my apartment. And it's artificially, I believe it's artificially elevated. But at this, <coughs> at Freddy's, yeah, I can see a bunch of white stripes in the sky. So maybe some of them will show up. There's a whole bunch over there. There's one that I think is showing up right over here. At Freddy's, if I take my phone, you know, that has the EMF application on it, the EMF measurement application, and I put it into my cart and I walk away from my cart, it drops. It drops down to 20. So I had, right, this time I did it in one spot in the store and I did it in be, in the in the frozen food section. So I, was, I had my cart right in between two freezers. So it's possible that there could have been some, but it doesn't matter because the important point was not that it was say around 20 or between 10, 8, 20 and 30. It was mostly around 20 when I walked away from it if I was directly in between the two freezers. It did elevate a little higher closer to the freezers. But <clears throat> when I picked it up and held it or put it anywhere near my body, it was 50. More than double. And I did that several times and it was consistent. Totally consistent. I noticed something like that this morning in my apartment. In my apartment, it seems like it varies from being, um, the whole apartment is ambient, the same level, or the, the whole apartment is elevated, but it's even more elevated around certain parts of my body. And it seems to be right now, my head and my neck. So if I hold the phone near my head and my neck, the EMF measurements go up. But if I just put the phone away from me or leave it, you know, and walk away from it, they're still high in my apartment, but not as high. So they go up a little bit when I'm um, holding the phone near my head and my neck. But Fred Myers, both times that I measured at Fred Myers, really consistent readings in terms of you know, high elevated around me, put the phone down, walk away, and the and they drop. That tells me that there's a beam trained on me, and it's probably trained on me right now and everywhere I go, but I, I mean, I don't think it's coming from, I don't, know, I don't know how these things work, but I, I don't know if they're coming from power, you know, antennas on the ground, or drones, but I'm suspecting increasingly that this is all drones. That would explain to me, that would be, to me, it's not the only explanation for the reason why things are different from place to place. It's not the only experience that I've had with directed energy attacks being unique to a place. Um, the home that I lived in before I moved into this place, six years, you know, that uh, was more closer to five years ago, but between five and six years ago, um, before that, back in say 2010, 2011, I was noticing these weird things that I now recognize as being likely effective beam weapons. Um, my eyeballs, <laughs> my eyeballs, my pupils changing size so that each one was a different size. Um, that was really disconcerting, but that only happened at my other house and it happened as long as I lived at that other place. It happened for years, it went on for years. And then when I moved, it hasn't happened since. It hasn't happened since I moved from that place. It was 
that particular thing, looking in the mirror and seeing my pupils be two different sizes, only happened at that location. So I'd be interested in <laughs> what other possible explanation there could be other than it was something to do with the location. I mean, you know, other than the go-to, she's delusional lie. Um, that that particular effect was a location-specific effect.